This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University. This Sunday, July, I believe 26, 6 p.m., we're gonna have a webinar, how to turn an established LLC into an S-Corp holding company. There are many of you who have come to me and like, hey, you know, can I turn my established LLC into a holding company? And the answer is yes, you can but there is a certain format, a certain level of sequences that you must go through to properly do this. All of this will be addressed and you can go ahead and uh, participate, the, participate in the webinar hitting the link below. So with that, let's get to the video. What's going on? This is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather, and we're about to have a discussion. Why do I make YouTube videos? I've been asking myself that question because it's fun, but why do I do it? I like helping people. And these videos help out thousands and thousands of people. And I'm gonna to continue to do it. However, I need more effort from you. There are people who kind of half watch the videos or don't pay attention or they don't like the, the problem of many things I talk about require work. They require you to get up off your butt and do something. And that makes, you know, the 95% because I got the 5% love you guys who take action, who buy the courses, who get results. And I've got a lot of people who are sitting on the sidelines who want to me, you know, someone said, why don't you bring on someone who um, took your courses. I, I don't have to bring anyone on. Check out Erica Williams' channel. Erica Williams, she used to be one of my students. She didn't try to do a Glendon Cameron, she did an Erica Williams. There is an example for you right there. And someone who supports me to this very day. Because this is one of the things. I have people who will buy a course, get results, and also super chat. But a lot of y'all are waiting on the sidelines because I feel that many of you did or you know didn't have the proper upbringing to be courageous. Because you're sitting around and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. Because you know it's gonna require you to do work. And that's what a lot of people don't wanna do. So going forward, let's all get about doing that work. Because time, as uh, my video, you, you getting older and poor, you, you guys have got to start being more accountable. You guys have got to start hustling. You guys have got to start putting, you know, there, there are videos up here, how to start a service business, how to find go that, well, actually, if you follow these videos and advice, you'll have money in your pocket for free. So it ain't the content it is the people who are watching this, you know, other than the 5% who take action. You know, in 19, uh, 2016, I gave away 19 courses and the overwhelming group, like 95% of the people did not crack open the course. They just downloaded them. And you know, now that they're on the email list, when I email them, I didn't subscribe to this. I don't want this. Stop emailing me. And I've had, you know, I used to like, well, you know, you got these free courses, you never cracked them open. Then I was like, oh, really? I didn't know. I forgot about it. You got to buy, you got to stop being lackadaisical about yourself, you, you, your, your success. You must be very intentional about your success. Oh, yeah. And I need to insert this message from me to all of my dissenters, haters, and people who feel that they do better than me. Recently, someone said, you know, my stories sound like Sunday school stories. And this is clearly someone who hasn't heard all the stories, haven't observed everything. But nonetheless, this is the seeds of hate. When someone brings something like that up, because we weren't even talking about that, someone was feeling some kind of way. So from me to you, I issue this $10,000 challenge. If your stories are just as good as mine, if you're experienced, start a YouTube channel and start talking about it and let's see how far you get. $10,000. Bruh, let's see how far you get. Let's see how entertaining you be. Let's see how people like, because see, this is the thing. 
due to the fact that I made a choice to work on my economics very hard, I put myself in a position to have these experiences that the average man simply can't have because the average man don't have the time. This is how I know when someone's talking this like, well, I got, you know, some experiences. You may have a few experiences, but you don't have as many as I do because you haven't, you don't have my money. You don't have my access. You are not living your life like I live. So there is no way that you can be doing this stuff and you hopping on a plane to go practice your American hypergamy because essentially you are an American going to these countries with these poor girls and you think that's macking. Mac here in the United States. Because if you can win here, you can win anywhere in the world. So that's my challenge because uh, there, there are some people who will come up and they'll start talking that noise because they're feeling somewhat inferior. They're feeling a little, they all up in their feelings like Kiki because the reality is I am a better man than you. Deal with it. These experiences, because you know, I've been able to put together a really good business and at the same time practice sowing my seeds, having a lot of fun. I've been able to do both concurrently. And you have not been able to do that. Because like to my fellows, you know what? Everybody should travel. You should get yourself a passport and you should go somewhere once or twice a year. I agree with that. But if you're getting a passport so you can go or practice American hypergamy, um, I'm, let me tell you something here. You know, there's a class of women here who are unattended, good looking, highly successful, beautiful women. You ain't even looking at them because you've been dealing with trash and you've been conditioned to deal with trash and now you disgust it so you want to escape and go somewhere where it's easier. Get your weight up, bro. You don't have to be on a plane to experience this because, you know, as I talk about on the influence frame, the dark side, there's, there's so much out here. There is so much out here that you do not... You don't have to get on the plane to go out and get premium trim. You don't. But many of you are convinced that's the only way you can and you're more likely part of the big toe, red pill contingency who borderline hate women because you can't get what you want from women. You're not practicing the dominant male lifestyle. So that's my challenge to all of you people who want to say something slick because I put some money on it because I believe you be lying I believe you be jelly. Now, let's get back to action. Because, you know, the, based on this challenge, this challenge will require people to do something. And they have to get results. I remember when I started Disruptive Mail and I had this one guy, was like, I need to start me a channel. I was like, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You, you come for the king. You think wearing this crown is so easy. Go for it, bro. Do it. The, the, the thing is, there are millions of YouTube channels that are very unsuccessful because it's more than just telling a story. It's your camera work, it's your consistency, it's your personal discipline. There's a whole bunch of things to this game that a lot of dudes just can't do because they don't have, they don't practice any personal discipline. They don't, which also shows up in your business. I've been talking like this for a number of years. If you be good with business, you can be good with women. The same thing, the same practices that you use to get customers, you can use to get women. Which tells me, you know, if you can't get women, more than likely you can't get money. Because there was some references like, I keep getting money. Most of y'all are broke. Most of y'all don't make no real money. Most of y'all don't make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100K, 200K, 300K a month. Y'all ain't making that kind of money. I could tell from watching your Facebook post, like, you know, well, when I save up, I'll go to get this grip. When I save up, once again, people, let's get busy. Let's make money. Let's get this Wi Fi bread. And you got to be active. Because if you're on Facebook perpetrating the fraud, because you know, I, 
I go to your page and I can see all these posts and I'm like, okay, that's the reality of your situation. Success leaves clues. Success is obtainable by anyone that's willing to put in the work. Success is it's, it's like with, within your fingertips. You need some consistency, but more importantly, you need the right mindset. There are so many people, and I'm speaking to my black folks, who are caught up on this racism thing. There's racism around every corner. There's some white person trying to be mean to some black person around every corner. You know, just let me care. Just because you personally don't experience it, don't mean it ain't happening. I never said it ain't happening. I'm just saying it ain't as bad as y'all claim it to be. 1966, they were putting fire hoses and dogs on black people. They ain't happening. That's called improvement. But y'all don't want y'all want to stick here, and you want to lean on racism to justify your lack of success. That's where it comes in. Because anybody that wants to fight me on certain things, they're usually unsuccessful people. And that's one of the little things you'd be like, well, the reason I'm not as successful as I want to be is because of racism. Because some white person got in my way. You know, most white people are poor. Most white people don't have no power. They don't have the time and the ability to get in your way. The reality is you are not working as hard as you should be on your personal goals. Once you let that racism thing go, and not to say there isn't racism, not to say there aren't racist cops, but you know what? The racist cops I run into, they treated me with respect, they gave me my license, in many cases, a lot of them let me go. But see, I'm not sitting there because I get pulled over by a cop. I want to have an argument and I want to get into law and debate and I want to get in all my feelings, get very emotional over a traffic stop. Once again, Racism is a toothless tiger. You know, racism, Donald Trump brand, that's dangerous because he's the president. But the average white person has no power whatsoever. But, you know, keep talking about white people in the wealth gap. And listen, you know, speaking of the wealth gap, what are you doing to solve the gap? What are you doing to increase your net worth? What are you doing to get in the system? Because this is one of the biggest problems. White people, and it has been a, presumed that most of the successful behaviors is, quote, acting white. So a lot of Negroes are not going to act that way, therefore not be successful because those are white attributes. And that is one of the silliest notions. Go back and know your history. Go back and know that black people were doing chemistry, mathematics at a high level, metaphysical stuff. The Moors imprisoned Europeans taught them stuff look at your history look at your real history not the slave history but the thousand years that the moors enslaved white people they were superior look at that history don't look at whoa let me sing let me sing an old negro spiritual because that's all i can do i can't start a business because the white man won't let me i can't do this because of white supremacy you bsing yourself because you don't want to put in the work once again, I put it out here the other day. I want white money. I want black money. I want Asian money. I want Ukrainian money. I want Jew money. The business is designed because I today had uh, some consults with some white clients. This whole notion of, well, because you're black, they, they won't deal with you. That is BS. If you're good enough, people will spend money with you. Whatever you charge. And once again, as a nod to the positive black folks, there's more and more black folks who are making this Wi-Fi bread, who are putting up businesses, who are becoming thought leaders. And it's going to be more and more. And it should be you. You should get off your butt and start doing some stuff and making it happen. Yes, you. Because either you're going to consider, you know, be here to be a consumer of the Internet or you're going to be an architect of the Internet. And I say you should get on that producer side because one of the things that you need to do is get busy. Nothing happens with inactivity. And a lot of you go home, watch your sitcoms, play around on Facebook, 
and you put no energy or time into building your business. And it's just like a pipe dream, a fantasy, some kind of wish that I can get this started. I guarantee you there are steps that you could take today that will start you moving towards your business goals. Today, not tomorrow, but today, tonight, you can start working on something. You gotta name your business. You gotta plan your business. You gotta do some market research. That's some stuff you can do right now whether you got money or not. And let's talk about money. You don't need a business loan. Not today. You can start a business with absolutely no money and a lot of hustle energy. Money helps, but if you don't have it, you can still get started. You can still make some bread. Start a service business. No money, you know, very little, no money to very little money is required. If you have no money, start a hustle, Craigslist, resell, flip stuff. There are so many ways for you to get money. Get this Wi-Fi bread. Stop wasting time. Stop complaining. Stop hanging around negative folks where nobody has a dream. Nobody has big goals. Because uh, this whole thing about, you know, tall black men don't do as well as tall white men is BS. All of my tall friends have done well in life. And height is an indicator. Height gets you in with women. I'm the past the mythical six foot one. That has gotten me plenty of play. I know this, I've just, I know the research. So once again, gentlemen, ladies, let's cut the crap and let's get busy because I am in full training education mode for the rest of the year. There's a lot of stuff that I'm coming out with. There's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna drop. There are many things that I'm gonna to put together. So let's work together for a brighter future for you because you live long enough, the future's coming. The future is coming. The future's coming like a freight train on grease skids. And you just sit and wait, you sit and wait, you sit and wait and hope it gets better. What about you making it better? What about you stepping up to the plate? What about you making it happen? I've given you a lot of tools, some of them for free. You won't have no excuse other than laziness or apathy. That's it. Laziness or apathy. Because once again, let's get this Wi-Fi bread. Let's make this money. Let's go ahead and change lives. I, I, it was very distressing because you know, a lot of people want to embrace the poverty mindset. We have people who are living in tents, people living in vans and buses because they cannot afford a house across the country. And those people, I think, can use some help. I was homeless. I climbed out of the pit of homelessness by my damn self, working my ass off, not getting on drugs. Because typically, if a person remains homeless for a long time, there's usually a substance abuse problem or a psychological problem. And these people become disenfranchised with normal society where they can't operate in normal society. And a lot of these people who are living in these vans are becoming disenfranchised because why, why rent an apartment when I can live in this van? They're conditioning themselves for lower expectations. I want you to condition yourself for higher expectations. I want you to put in your mind that you can achieve. Put in your mind that you can get the life that you want. Live where you want, drive where you want, marry the woman you want, have the life that you want. Put that in your mind. Put it in your mind. Write it on paper, write big goals, write a delicious goals, and just shoot and work your butt off for them. I'm here to tell you, life is going to be beautiful 10, 20, 30 years from now. And if you don't have no money, you ain't going to be able to enjoy it. There's going to be middle advances. If you would take four to five years to bust your butt, build a business, you, the rest of your years you can live in ease. Like the old people around here, they're a different breed of people. I remember I was walking the other day, saw this old lady. This lady, she looked real shifty. She got on me. I realized this woman, 
because her skin, that's the only thing that gave her away, that she was an old lady. You know what I mean, they're well preserved. They're interesting. They, but see, they got money to live in this neighborhood. For anyone that wants to have this conversation that money does not buy happiness, try living without money and see how happy you will be. I'm not about this utopian, like everyone gets together and eats coconuts and berries and by the campfire and we go down to the river and get some water for the day. I ain't trying to live like that. No, but that's a communal ideal because a lot of you don't want to put in the work, but I'm telling you, you put in the work, you get you a solid business model, you work for four to seven years, the rest of your life can be cake, you can have a yacht, you can have a Lambo, and the house, and big Betty, big booty Betty all up in the camp, because you know, women like men with money. And I know Mick Toe and Red Pill are like, arr, arr, arr. <sighs> they ain't gonna change. The reality is, if you got some money, a woman gonna find something cute on you. Reality. I know the truth sucks. You know, many of you want these women to like you for you, but you don't like her for her. If she don't look a certain way, you ain't interested. But for some reason, this woman that has high sexual appeal is supposed to be one to get with you. It ain't so, bruh. It ain't so. So that's the message I have. And I've got some tools in this commercial. Go ahead and watch it. Buy something and get busy. Because I figured out a lot of stuff. And I've put this in these courses to cut your learning curve so you can get results much faster. That's what this is for. They're appropriately priced. They're not gonna break your pockets. You know, I, I thought about upping the price, but I'm gonna leave it the same. Go ahead and get that and get busy. And I'll see you guys back here next week or maybe Sunday. I don't know yet. I don't know, but check out this, this commercial and I will see you guys later.